Some people are probably thinking this is the end of the world. That's true. Do you think it could be? Yes. How can you say that? That wasn't the answer you wanted. Couldn't you pretend to be like you used to be? <laughs> Give me some comfort. People break down into two groups. When they experience something lucky, group number one sees it as more than luck, more than coincidence. They see it as a sign. Evidence that there is someone up there watching out for them. Group number two sees it as just pure luck. A happy turn of chance. I'm sure the people in group number two are looking at those 14 lights in a very suspicious way. For them, this situation is a 50-50. Could be bad. Could be good. But deep down, they feel that whatever happens, they're on their own. And that fills them with fear. There's a whole lot of people in the group number one. When they see those 14 lights, they're looking at a miracle. And deep down, they feel that whatever's going to happen, there'll be someone there to help them. And that fills them with hope. See, what you have to ask yourself is what kind of person are you? Are you the kind that sees signs, sees miracles? Or do you believe that people just get lucky? Or look at the question this way. Is it possible that there are no coincidences? Severus, swear to it. Give it his best effort when it matters most. He'll just slither back into his hole. Coward. Take out your wand. Attempts to fulfill the Dark Lord's wishes. I will. And will you, to the best of your ability, protect him from harm? I will. And if Draco should fail, will you yourself carry out? against three students, not only vastly more emotionally mature than yourself, but who have mastered spells that you wouldn't attempt in your dizziest daydreams. Concerned? Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Just ignore the quill. Of course, you're no ordinary boy of 12, are you? 14. The story's legend. Do you think it was the trauma of your past that made you so keen to enter such a dangerous tournament? Uh, no, I, I didn't enter. <gasps> of course you didn't. Everyone loves a rebel, Harry. <laughs> Scratch that last. You're incredible. Thank you. How much you've uh, 
take it in. Look at these questions. They're all about him. What is Gilderoy Lockhart's favorite color? What is Gilderoy Lockhart's greatest achievement to date? The elders are going to have an inquiry tomorrow. Each member of the village is to be questioned in a meeting hall. To see how the border was breached. Yes. It is cold outside. You ought to go in. Why are you on this porch? It is not safe. There are other porches. Do you find me too much of a tomboy? I do long to do boy things. Like that game the boys played this dump. They put their backs to the woods and see how long they can wait before getting scared. So exciting. I understand you hold the record. It will never be broken, they say. It's just children's games. How is it you are afraid when all the rest of us shake in our boots? I do not worry about what will happen. Only what needs to be done. How did you know I was here? I saw you at the window. No, I won't tell you your color. Stop asking. When we are married, will you dance with me? I find dancing very agreeable. Listen to me, mutant. She will not be harmed. She will be fine. So long as you do your job. Logan will be here soon. We should prepare. It was easy to lure him here. It's another thing to capture him. We're ready. He's never faced a black clan. Yes. Well. Dip your arrows in this. It won't kill him, but it will slow him down. Keep your potions. He's no challenge for us now. He's weak. Okay. But when you fail, you'll have this. Janie accuses me of chasing jail bait. She bursts into angry tears, asking if it's because she's getting older. 
It's true. She's aging more noticeably every day. While I am standing still, I prefer the stillness here. I am tired of Earth, these people. I'm tired of being caught in the tangle of their lives. Throw balls anymore, stupid. Do they not? They throw happenings. And how, pray, does one throw a happening? Well, first things first, you'll need a mirror ball. Whatever that is, we shall have it. Booze, lots of booze. Carolyn. We shall have spirits enough to fill a schooner's hull. And Alice Cooper. I seem to recall an Alice Cooper from my youth. Does she reside in Collinsport? Not exactly. Well, she shall be our guest nonetheless. Sure, a pinch of worm fat, urine of a horse fly, three coins from a dead man's pocket, two teaspoons of wishful thinking. <laughs> that should do it. It's not working. Whoa. Shut up, you're gonna fall. How do I get down? Shh. <sighs> Who's got the instructions? Just keep concentrating. Listen closely. I'd like to help you, but I can't. I'd like to tell you to take a copy of your policy to Norma Wilcox on Norma Wilcox, W-I-L-C-O-X, on the third floor, but I can't. I also do not advise you to fill out and file a WS-2475 form with our legal department on the second floor. I would not expect someone to get back to you quickly to resolve the matter. I'd like to help, but there's nothing I can do. Like Philip? Conjure thee to speak to me. Speak as that to speak to join us in mercy. Dost thou understand my English tongue? Answer me.
what canst thou give? Wouldst thou like the taste of butter? A pretty dress? Wouldst thou like to live deliciously? Will you from me? Dost thou see a book before thee? Remove thy shift. They know about us. I figured. How? Well, from the way your dad spoke to me, he made me feel like I was a part of the family. Almost like a son-in-law. You're so lucky. My father would have carted me off to a correctional facility. Elio. I might never have liked you. Or in fact, I despise you. But that shouldn't suggest that I don't respect you. Dying in our sleep is a luxury that our kind is rarely afforded. My gift. Hello, Bill. What's her condition? Comatose. Where is she? I'm standing over her right now. That's my girl. Hmm. Hell, you're going to abort the mission. <laughs> you're handed this precious gift. Each one of you granted redemption from the Creator. Murderers, rapists, and molesters. All of you, you just have to repent. And God takes you into his bosom. <laughs> in all the worlds, in all the universe, no other creature can make such a boast, save man. It's not fair. If sweet, sweet God loves you so, then I'll make you worthy of his love. I've been watching you for a long time. It's only in the face of horror that you truly find your nobler self. And you can be so noble. So, I'll bring you pain. I'll bring you horror. So that you may rise above it. So that those of you who survive this reign of hell on earth will be worthy of God's love. Gabriel, you're insane. The road to salvation begins tonight. Right now.
Getting away from everything feels good. Yeah, it does. When I left home, the maid asked me where I was off to. I said, wherever, whatever. Have a nice day. You had a maid? Yeah. If I had a normal family and a good upbringing, then I would have been a well-adjusted person. Depends on what you call normal. Yeah, it does. Well, you know, normal, like, like a mom and a dad and a dog and shit like that. Normal. Normal. So you didn't have a normal dog? No, I didn't have a dog. You didn't have a, a normal dad? Didn't have a dog or a, or a, or a, or a well, normal dad anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I don't feel sorry for myself. I mean, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm, you know, well adjusted. <laughs> What's a normal dad? I don't know. I'd like to talk with you. I mean, I'd like to uh, really talk with you. I mean, we're talking right now, but you know, I don't know. I, I don't feel like I can be. I don't feel like I can be close to you. I mean, we're close. Right now, we're close, but I mean, you know. I don't know. Emergency exit row. No. If you feel you would be unable or unwilling to perform the duties listed on the safety card, please ask a flight attendant to reseat you. It's a lot of responsibility. Want to switch seats? No, I'm not sure I'm the man for that particular job. An exit door procedure at 30,000 feet. Mm-hmm. Illusion of safety. Yeah, I guess so. You know why they put oxygen masks on planes? So you can breathe. Oxygen gets you high. In a catastrophic emergency, you're taking giant panic breaths. Suddenly, you become euphoric, docile. You accept your fate. It's all right here. Emergency water landing, 600 miles an hour. Blank faces, calm as Hindu cows. That's, um, that's an interesting theory. What do you do? What do you mean? What do you do for a living? Why? So you can pretend like you're interested. <laughs> OK. You have a kind of sick desperation in your life. We have the exact same briefcase. Soap. Sorry? I make and I sell soap. The yardstick of civilization. And this is how I met Tyler Durden. Did you know if you mix equal parts of gasoline and frozen orange juice concentrate, you can make napalm? No, I did not know that. Is that true? That's right. One can make all kinds of explosives using simple household items. Really? If one was so inclined. Tell you are by far the most interesting single serving friend I've ever met. See, I have this thing, everything on a plane is single serving, even the Oh, I get it. It's very clever. Thank you. How's that working out for you? What? Being clever. Great. Keep it up, then. Right up. Oh, now a question of etiquette. As I pass, do I give you the ass or the crunch? <laughs>